Nano Banana, the AI image editing model, is only a couple of weeks old and it's already got some competition. That competition comes from SeaDream 4.0, which some people say is the banana killer. I'm not one of those people. I've been testing both models head to head with the same edits to see how they stack up. I'll share those results with you and we'll do a couple of edits together. For all my testing, I've been using Nano Banana and SeaDream 4.0 on Design, who's sponsoring this video. Design is a fully featured AI image and video platform with lots of tools, including a chat editor that we'll explore here in a bit, but right now let's look at some results. First up, I just took a still frame of me from a recent video and I was looking for a professional studio photograph. Now the reason I included in the prompt wearing a dark gray shirt and jeans was to get it to go beyond just this chest up view. I wanted to try and get a mid shot and with both of these models I've found that it tends to work better if instead of saying like waist up or knees up or something like that, if you just give it something that it needs to include in the image that it would have to show more of the person to create the image, if that makes any sense. And that worked, both models did the job. I feel like in the Sea Dream version, there's something a little weird about my face, and yes, I know my face is weird normally, I do own a mirror, but this is a different kind of weird, I'm just not quite sure what it is. Anyway, I took those images and also gave it this image of this guy with his hands up and wanted to get them to pose me like that. I did something very similar to this recently for a thumbnail so that I didn't have to pose and take pictures. They both got the pose and it looks like me. Nano Banana, I think, looks a lot more like the original image that I gave it. Sea Dream, on the other hand, seems to be making things kind of orange, and my face is getting fuzzy. Maybe that's the issue. Sticking with our posing theme, I gave it this image and then this stick figure that I drew up in Microsoft Paint. I know it's terrible. Nonetheless, both models tried to follow it. Neither of them bent the arms at the elbows, which I thought was kind of the most obvious thing for my stick figure, but I guess not. Nano Banana interpreted the legs in my stick figure to be straight, while Sea Dream apparently thought they were bent, and looking at the stick figure, I can see how each of them reached the conclusion they did. Next, I want to work with the same image for multiple edits and see how things evolved over time. So we started with this guy with his laptop and had it replace the wall with bookshelves filled with books. Both of them got it, but Sea Dream appears to have put him in a library based on all those stickers on the books, and it's definitely changed the color. He's a little bit orangier. So using those generated images as the starting images for the next edit, I had it add an orange insulated tumbler sitting on the desk. The banana put it on the right, Sea Dream put it on the left. Either way is fine. Sea Dream's tumbler, I feel like the rim up here should be all stainless steel. Not stainless steel on the outside and on the inside, but have this orange rim. That seems weird. And I also feel like his face looks better in the Nano Banana version. Using those generated images as the starting image for the next edit, along with the Accelerator logo, I asked it to place the logo from the first image on the center of the laptop lid and make it small. And I put make it small in there because all these editing models seem to want to make things like that too big when they apply them to an image. Here we did okay. Both models put the logo in the center of the laptop. Sea Dreams is a little bigger than Nano Bananas, but it's not awful. Now going from those images for our next edit, I said change the desktop surface from white to old oak wood with a deep grain. Nano Banana seemed to get it. That looks like deep grain. I can see the texture there. Sea Dream, not so much. I mean, I see large contrasting grain, but the only texture I see is in a couple of the knots. And at this point, it feels like his face is getting really weird and really orange. One last iteration of editing here was to change his white shirt and blue jacket into a dark green hoodie. Both models did fine with the hoodie. In the Nano Banana version, we're seeing a little bit of quality loss there in our guy's face. But in the Sea Dream version, this is looking pretty rough. I wanted to see how each model did preserving his face from edit to edit. So I zoomed in on the faces and put them all side by side from the original image through the very last edit. And there's certainly some quality loss with Nano Banana, but it's not nearly as severe as what we got with Sea Dream. Our last edit doesn't even really look like the same guy we started with. Of course, you could use upscaling to try and improve that final image. I'm afraid that the one from Sea Dream is so different that the upscaling just isn't gonna make it look like him anymore. So to try and reduce the quality loss that comes with each time you edit, maybe try and include a couple of changes in one edit. I've got more results to show you, but first let's jump into design, whip up an image and make a couple of edits together. In design, everything's organized into projects, so let's create a new project. We'll name it Editing Demo and click Apply. Now we need an image to edit, so let's create one. Over on the left, we'll click the Text to Image button. 
That opens up the image generation panel. The model is at the top. We'll click on that. Design has a bunch of image generation models to pick from. I've been really liking Google Image N4 lately, so we'll select that one. For the prompt, we'll just do a product photograph of a plain white coffee mug. We'll leave the prompt improver on. That'll add some detail and descriptive words before it sends the prompt over to the image generator. The aspect ratio of one to one will be just fine, so let's generate. Okay, our mug looks good, but we're here to make changes, so let's click the chat editor right underneath the image. The chat editor opens up here on the bottom. It shows us that we're using this white coffee mug image. Below that's where we describe our edit. We're going to change the mug's finish to matte black. Below that is the model. Click that drop down. You can choose from Nano Banana, Sea Dream 4.0, Flux One Context, or Chat GPT. We'll stick with Nano Banana. The next option is the aspect ratio. If we leave it on default for Nano Banana, it'll use the aspect ratio of the image you provided. We'll stick with that and click generate. For this next edit, I want to use this mug image that we created along with another image that I'll bring in. So let's come up on the left and close out the image generation panel. Now we've got our generated images over here on the right and our canvas right in the center. I'm going to drag my logo in and drop it on the canvas. Then over under the image of the black mug, I'll click chat editor. It's got the mug loaded up in that first spot. Now to get the logo, I'll click the plus button next to it. Now I could have just dragged and dropped my logo in here at this point, but by putting it on the canvas, it shows up here and I can select it. That way, if I want to use it again in this project, I won't have to keep dragging it in and dropping it every time. So we'll select the logo. For the prompt, I said place the logo from image two on the mug in image one. I could have also said place the logo from the second image on the mug in the first image. That's worked just fine for me too. We'll leave everything the way it is and generate. Our image shows up on the right under results. If we hover, we get a nice big preview. You can add it to the canvas by double clicking. And over on the right, if we switch from the results tab to the layers tab, we can see what we've got on the canvas and you can hide layers or rearrange layers just by clicking in dragging. Next up, I gave it an image of this room that doesn't have a whole lot going on and a collage of things to decorate the room with. It looks like both of them got all the items from the collage. In the Nano Banana version, it put five shelves on the bookshelf when the collage only had three shelves. I'm not sure that's where I'd put the plant, but I didn't tell it where to put the plant. And apparently Sea Dream thought that's where the plant should go too in that same general area. Now, of course, Sea Dream also thought the candle should be on the floor over here in the corner of the carpet and that it should just invent some table or chair to put this green green throw on. It thought the painting should be landscape instead of portrait orientation, and it gave us four bookshelves instead of three. So I guess that part was a little closer than Nano Banana. I wanted to try something different with this collage or grid method, so I gave it an image of this woman and told it to replace her outfit with everything that's in the grid. Nano Banana looks like it changed everything except her shoes. Now I might have confused it by having the leg warmers and shoes there in the same panel of the grid, and I didn't specify in my prompt, like describing out what each item was to make sure it included it. Also, I don't think those are the same earrings from my collage. Sea Dream didn't get the earrings right either, but it got everything else, including the shoes. Next, I thought it might be fun to bring a cartoon character to life, so I gave that a shot. The Nano Banana version looks more realistic, but the Sea Dream version kept more of the character's characteristics, like the big eyes and the big smile. So two slightly different takes there. I think it's just a matter of which one you like better. Next, I gave it this image of a woman sitting at a table, along with an image of this guy, and told it to put him in the chair across from the woman. And I specified the woman in the white shirt because I saw people in the background of this image and didn't want it to get confused about where he was supposed to be. Both models put the guy in the right place. However, Sea Dream, I guess because the image of him was a little bit brighter, I guess it thought rather than changing the lighting on him to match the scene he was going into, it would just change the lighting on her. And I'm not sure, but in the Sea Dream version, it sort of looks like this guy's back is growing through the back of the chair, kind of like a tree in a fence. Next, I told it to take this house photo and make it nighttime. Both of them made the sky dark and have light coming out the windows, just like I asked, but they did handle some shadows differently. In the Sea Dream version, it looks like it took the original shadows over here on the left side from the daytime and tried to just make those same shadows at night, which probably wouldn't be the case. Nano Banana has a shadow in that same spot, but it's softer and more blurred and just seems to fit better. With that same house, I tried turning it into a creepy scene from an 80s horror movie. Nano Banana got it with dark clouds, the mist, the red lights through the windows there, and it even titled the movie Midnight Manor, which sounds like a place I've been 
Oh, oh, never mind. Sea Dream did okay too, different take, but I think it could totally pass as creepy scene from an 80s horror movie. Here's a real simple one, just want to put a cat on the couch with this woman and both of them got it. Next, I tried removing the fence from this image. Both models removed the fence, but both models left a shadow of the fence behind. In Neno Banana, it's just on the goat's back. It did get rid of the shadows of the fence off the goat's face. In Sea Dream, we got the fence shadows on his back and on his face. While I was removing things, I thought, let's remove this creepy guy that popped up while these two ladies were taking a picture. And I think both models did a fine job of erasing that dude from the picture and making it look like he was never there. Next, I want to try and change some text. So I've got this 80s movie thing and I asked it to change Neon Dreams to Neon Vortex. I thought it might have an issue since part of this wording is behind the guy's head, but Nano Banana did just fine with it. Sea Dream changed the text, but it also changed the color, which I didn't ask it to do. Another text edit with this menu board, I asked it to change the price of the onion rings from $1 to $3. And I intentionally use that language instead of saying change the text onion rings one dollar to onion rings three dollars to see if it could kind of perceive what was going on here. Both models made the change and it looks almost exactly the same. Then I gave them both a shot with this thing that's been trending lately of creating the figurine along with the packaging that has an illustration of the character and then on the computer monitor we're supposed to see the 3d model of that character. Both Nano Banana and Sea Dream did it. There's lots of proportion issues in both of them but I'm not going to nitpick. It's interesting to see how it's taking the reference image and it's reproducing that same likeness three different times in three different styles within one image. So in my experience, once in a while, Sea Dream 4.0 will do better than Nano Banana, but most of the time, Nano Banana is doing better for me than Sea Dream 4.0. I think it's great to have options. Nano Banana is probably my go-to right now, but it's good to have something else to try if there's something that Nano Banana just won't get. Speaking of options, Design has a lot more tools for creating and working with AI images and videos. We checked out the chat editor and image generation but Design also has AI video generation with all the popular models like Kling, Hilu, and Vio, a lip sync tool with multi-character lip sync. I made a video about that recently. Lots of stuff for editing and upscaling, way more than I could cover in one video. But there's a link to Design in the description so you can head over there and see everything they have to offer. Hey, my name's Bob. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you come back and join me for another video.